Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop CS6 tutorial and in this tutorial I want to teach you about the gauge and blur or as other people like to call it in a different one the Gaussian blur but uh, I'm gonna say Gaussian because uh, that's the way I was taught in school it might not be the right way but um, that's the way I've always said it and it's hard to break now so let's uh, get going into what that uh, blur actually is. So to me, the Gaussian blur is my favorite blur. It's softer than the box blur. So it's uh, and it blurs like everything using like a mathematical formula. That's kind of hard to explain. Actually, really hard to explain. If you really want to know the mathematical formula, go ahead and just type in uh, the Gaussian blur formula under in Google or something like that and see what see what pops up so it can be used to uh, smooth details in an image um, blur something like way out it can be used to add a like a soft focus to an image and um, among other kind of things I'm not gonna list every single thing that the Gaussian blur can do but you'll find lots of um, different uses for it. So first let's just see what it does on its own. So I'm going to select my layer, filter, blur, Gaussian blur. So pretty much it's just your basic looking blur. There you go. And uh, that's pretty much what it does. Adjusting the radius obviously to the right makes it a stronger blur and to the left more is a, a weaker blur. So you can see that and um, you can move around inside the uh, box here, the preview box, to see different patches if you would like to, or you can just check the preview box here to have the different preview or to have a preview on the main image here. And this square that's on the main image, you can use that to um, pretty much like select the area you want to look at in this smaller box over here. So. I can go on Joby's face over here and that's what's going to appear over here in the image or in the uh, preview box. So that's what the Gaussian blur is. It's my favorite blur. I use it all the time. So I'm going to cancel and I'm going to show you like one use I like to use Gaussian blur for and that is to create like a focus. Now everybody in this um, picture when you look at it um, you can pretty much see this person which is me in the front and everybody else in the back um, and what I want to do is kind of like blur these guys out while keeping me in focus because I'm in the front so what I'm gonna do is duplicate my layer here and I'm going to use an elliptical marquee here for my selection and just make this and I'll do something like this so it gets like gets like me in there I guess something like something like that around there and a feather out your image and f somewhere like five is good it depends on how big your picture is honestly and um, we'll go from there so make sure it's feathered and then we're gonna add a layer mask into it and you do that by clicking on this button here while this layer is selected so this adds a layer mask and it uses our selection to punch a hole into the layer mask pretty much now what I can do is blur the bottom layer while keeping this uh, selection that I made untouched by the blur. So click on your bottom layer, go to filter, and then add your Gaussian blur. And when, you, when you're using filters, the last filter that you used and the amount that you used is saved here at the top. And I can click on it, and it'll bring that blur already into there without me having to add anything else. I'm gonna go back real quick, so I'm gonna hit Control Z. I'm just gonna add the blur manually from the uh, filter blur menu. So Gaussian blur, and now I'm just gonna show you as I move the blur around what's being blurred and what's not. So check out these guys in the back relative to the selection that I made, and you can see that how that. Uh, selection is different so I'm gonna keep it around something like 2 I'll just type in 2 
to um, keep it as a soft blur here. Hit OK, and you can see the difference here. Wait, if I the bottom layer, I'm gonna turn on and turn off the bottom layer, and you can see what's going on with that. And then the top layer, you can see if I turn it off, everything's blurred. If I turn it on, now this uh, section that I made as a selection is now more in focus than the back layer. So that's what the uh, how uh, one way to at least use the Gaussian blur is. And um, at some point, I may teach more ways or. Uh, or use a project where I use Gaussian Blur in a different way and I plan on doing some projects after I get like all the basics down in these tutorials that I'm making so look forward to that in the future and in the meantime you just experiment with the blur and see what you like so that's the end of this tutorial and thank you for watching this one and I'll show you some more cool filters and effects in the next tutorial